Now we are going to understand a few points about FOL semantics. Let us suppose you have a term that is closed. If a term is closed, then the value assigned to the variables in the assignments are relevant. So you can simply interpret the term using only the model. Model can give you the value of a term. So we may write M of T without actually stating the assignment if T is closed. Similarly, if F is a sentence, then the assignment has no influence on the sentence satisfaction because the, all the variables you can assign in the assignments get quantified some point of time because F is a sentence and then you are asked to have a any value or some value such that the rest of the formula gets evaluated. Therefore, the, any assignment has no impact on satisfaction with uh, sentence. Therefore, when I give you a model, I can simply say M satisfies an F if F is a sentence. Another important matter to discuss is what if your domain is empty? Remember that you were asked to have a non-empty domain zone only. Now you wonder why that has been said so. Let us consider this formula to understand the issue. You are said for all x, h of x and not of hx. Clearly, this formula must be false for any model, right? But if you choose this model in which M is empty and HM naturally consequently is empty. So this formula is satisfied because it is for all X since there is no X, this formula holds true and therefore it breaks our intuition. Therefore, we cannot have a an empty domain and therefore empty domain is not allowed. Now let us look at uh, another example which will give us a bit more of understanding. Let's suppose you have only one predicate symbol which is called E and uh, you have this model A, B, two elements okay and you have these, uh, these uh, tuples A, A and A, B. If you have that situation, you can interpret your model as a graph. Okay? So you have A and B two nodes, and A, A there's an edge, and then A, B there's an edge. Look at this formula. In this formula, you have the model M, and then your X is assigned to A. So you can say that E of X is to, okay? You can say there exists in Y such that E, X, Y is true means from x you can go to y right and and there is no self loop on y so there's no self loop that's this guy satisfies so then you can easily see that this model assignment satisfies this formula so sometimes viewing your uh, models as graphs if you have certain kind of predicates it's easy and you can interpret them in some as if you are interpreting graphs let us suppose uh, we want to write a formula which is always false if your domain has exactly one element it allows you to have more elements but cannot be one element so here is the way you can write this statement you can say that you cannot have a self loop okay so you're not allowed to have self loop but there exist an x and y such that you can connect them okay so there must be some edge if there's a single node how can you have an edge without having self loop? This is not possible. So therefore, a single element domains are disallowed in by this formula. Well enough. Can we extend this idea for two nodes? So how do we implement to say that you can have more than two elements in a domain, but not two or less than two? Okay. So how do I do that? Uh, so idea would be that you have two elements and you would say that okay maybe you disallow self loop like the others and you want to say that okay you need to have a, this kind of edges so that you can say at least three things are there but if you let's say you use this e x y and e y z to talk about this chain there exist x y and z then you are saying that okay well there's a chain should exist 
but that can also be this formula can be satisfied by this formula right so you want to get rid of this guy also you will say that for all x and y not of e x y and e y x that rejects that there is any loop of size length 2 you also need to say that the loop of uh, length 1 should also be rejected so they say for all x not of e of x x these three formulas together will say that there is no domain of size 2 everything should be bigger than 2 let's say if you want to say greater than 3 how would you say that i mean I extend this idea and continue because you say that as you keep saying this the formula size is getting bigger and bigger okay so let's continue this idea let's suppose i want to say the sentence is true only in infinite models there is no finite model of that formula how do we do that the above idea which we did will not work because as loops getting longer and longer you could not really uh, manage to uh, uh, write a finite formula when you're talking about infinite models right so you always want to write a finite formula so how do i do that how do i say that means loop of any length is not allowed okay so first thing you will say that you have uh, transitivity for all x y and z you'll say if e is connected to x y uh, e connects y and z then you have connection between e of x of z okay so that means if you have edges like this that means you have edge like this okay so now next thing you will say there is so for all x uh, not of e x x what you are saying here is that if there is an edge like this and there is an edge like this then there is a transitive edge therefore if there are longer length of loops then there will be a loop loop of single length and that is being rejected by this formula therefore you cannot have cycle of any length then let's suppose there is no cycle okay so there uh, you need to say somehow that if you have certain number of edges then there's a one more extra edge okay that needs to be added also so you will add the formula for all x y right if there's an e x y then there exists in a z then e y z so if this formula will ensure that you will have one edge then it connects that thing to another thing to another thing to another thing but how do you ensure that there is exact at least one edge otherwise this formula won't be true so you add one more kind of formula which say there exist x y such that e x y all these formulas together will say that there are infinitely many elements 